Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do an unboxing video. Uh, this is a grow light that was sent to me by Spider Farmer. Um, I believe it is a, the, 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 the actual product is called SF1000. So it's their smaller model. Um, just a, it seems like a, a basic grow light setup. Uh, like this one, this one I have had really good luck with. Uh, this isn't a Spider Farmer one, this is a, a, a cheap knockoff thereof. Uh, this one here cost me about, I, I think it was $40, and it works great. This one's 45 watts, the one in the box is, is 100 watts, so I'm going to get a lot, more, uh, a lot more light out of it. Um, this one, well, we'll talk about each one in a minute. Let's just open this up, and, uh, and we'll talk about it at that point. Okay, so let's figure out how to open this thing up. I'm really excited. I... I have a lot of grow lights. I've been trying out various styles, and uh, many of them don't work very well for me. They're good for vegetative growth. They're just not strong enough. So I've been trying to find things with higher wattages, but the price tags seem to be a lot more expensive. Um, they're they're much much more pricey. But uh, if you're getting better growth for your plants, sometimes spending a little bit more money is a good thing. Um, I was trying to go on the cheap for a while because you're just you just want the the light, right? But not all light is built the same. I'm starting to realize that. This this one here uh, off to the side. I was using that one uh, for my uh, little lift up seedlings. Right now I'm doing a little bit of a grow room renovation, so. Um, I'm doing a little bit of a grow room renovation, so uh, uh, I, I, I'm not using this light at the moment for it, but, uh, but it did really, really well, as you guys have seen through the updates. Um, what did I get in this? There's a, a Spider Farmer VIP Club. I'll look into this a little bit more. Here's the grow lights. General care. I'll have to look through this um, before I actually use the light. And thank you for your purchase. No problem. <laughs> so here we go. It's very well packaged. Uh, this this particular one, when I received it, it basically came in a little flat box. It was it was uh, it was moving around in the box, not very secure. This one here, as you can see, they've taken a lot of care uh, in in making sure that it uh, it doesn't move around and that if it does get jostled it's not going to harm the unit. So, so fantastic packaging. Now let's lift it out. It's a very thin unit. Oh my god. The weight is considerable as well. Um, they've actually used products that uh, seem to be uh, seem to be much more durable. This is actually a metal frame here. Uh, metal backing. Uh, uh, this is going to absorb any heat like a heat sink sort of thing is what I'm assuming. Um, so that's that's really really good, really heavy. Uh, whereas this one, this one's all plastic. Uh, again, you get what you pay for. <laughs> it works well, but this one's going to work better, I think. So in this, there there's just the regular warm light. There's uh, blue light, red light, and infrared light. So we'll turn this on eventually. I think that these ones here are going to be the infrared lights. These little guys here. Uh, right by the screws. So what's different about this uh, besides the the much better construction is this one's water I, I don't want to say it incorrectly waterproof or water resistant um, so with something like this one I wouldn't recommend using it in a grow tent. Uh, this one here uh, you can use it in a grow tent. They've used a, a glue over top of the diodes uh, so that uh, a water resistant glue so that it doesn't um, it doesn't uh, corrode, so you've got that going for it. Also, all of the um, the connections are all covered as well, so you're not going to uh, have any exposed wires. And on the back, I, I suppose I should say that uh, these uh, diodes, all the little lights, are Samsung lights, uh, so they're they're higher quality than some. And then um, this is a Meanwell driver, uh, which I googled it, and and it seems to be a uh, a well-known company that uh, that uh, supplies power supplies to, to items like this. 
So very, very interesting. Very, very heavy duty. Absolutely love the, the feel of it. I feel like I'm not going to break it. Uh, whereas this one, I feel like I'm going to break it. <laughs> uh, also, I, I'm always worried every time I do uh, watering when I'm misting, uh, because this has to be so close to the pro uh, to the plants when I'm misting I'm always getting water on this and I'm always fearful that I'm gonna start a fire or uh, something's not gonna not gonna uh, Like it and then the corrosion and then eventually this is just gonna die But for the price of it, whatever this one here. I think uh, Canadian it's about $219 on Amazon. Oh, I'll link both uh, Amazon.com and .ca down below in the comment section or in the description section below so that you can check it out I'm probably not going to tell you all the information that you need to know um, it's just basically I want to show you what the product looks like and we're going to grow stuff under it so yeah if, if there's anything that I'm not covering go check out uh, the Amazon site and uh, and see what uh, what else they have to offer uh, uh, description wise of the product they also have uh, three different types of product there they have um, this one and they have a slightly uh, longer one and then a big one that's about two feet by two feet so that would be uh, for, a, for a much larger um, grow situation so this one is also for um, it does vegetative it does flowering and it does fruiting so when you're doing fruiting it's gonna have to be much closer to the to the plants um, I think it's got to be like 12 inches away from from the the, the leaf surface and I guess because these are much brighter lights, it uh, it goes through the canopy better of the of the plants. So you're going to get a, a much better lit uh, plant. I'm just going to move this off to the side. So what came in the box? I got a uh, a little um, measuring tape. I think this is so that you can measure uh, how far of a distance you want to be away from your plants to get optimum growth. I don't know offhand. So for vegetative growth. Uh, it'll it'll um, uh, give you a three by three, and for flower production, it's obviously going to be a little bit closer to the to the uh, plant. So you're going to get a two by two foot uh, footprint. Okay, so something that I need to to learn to do is not to look directly at the at the grow lights. There's special sunglasses that will will uh, counteract the uh, the blues and the and the red lights. Uh, and I should actually buy a pair. I try not to use the the ones with the uh, infrared and, and the blues and the uh, uh, Reds just because it is harder to look at, but it's actually not that great for your eyes. So it says here do not uh, to, to prevent eye damage look uh, don't look directly at the LEDs. It's also very br very bright So <laughs> you obviously don't want to look at them anyway um, also says don't touch um, while in operation, so this is going to produce uh, some heat and because it's got a metal backing that metal backing will get warm uh, not sure how warm but uh, just just don't touch it and uh, yeah and to produce uh, risk of overheating if you are in a really hot environment uh, you'll probably want to use a fan uh, to, to cool this off but if your room is cool uh, chances are it will uh, it will cool down naturally anyway I, I tend to use a fan in the grow space just because uh, it kind of uh, slows insect populations and it also is good to keep down uh, any um, any fungal problems or, or anything like that. So let's uh, let's plug this in. I want to see what the lights look like. Oh, what else came in the box? <laughs> I'm getting too far ahead of myself. It came with different uh, hanging options, which I thought was really cool. It came with these ratcheting uh, uh, carabiner style uh, clips. So how does that work? We'll set this up. And, and see how it all goes down. I believe these get hooked on first. So these will go on all four corners. These are just uh, the little uh, wire hangers. And these are going to make we got little clips here. Oh. Okay, it didn't it didn't go in the way that I wanted it to. So we got little clips and they go into the holes just like so. Super easy to set up. 
I really like that this one is water resistant, waterproof. I wouldn't put it in a in a bucket of water, but at least when you're when you're dealing in a, a humid environment, as we know we do when we grow plants, uh, at least you know that it's going to be safe. So we can either hang it from the the ceiling or from a shelf, just like this with these guys, or you can have it with adjustable heights, which is probably much better to do because. Uh, because as the plant grows, you're going to want to adjust the, the, the light level or the height of the, the light from the top of the plants. So this will allow you to raise or lower the, the light as you need it, as you're going. And then you're going to use the, um, the, uh, the tape measure that comes with it and you'll, you'll be able to exactly know how close your plants are to your light. So that's really cool. I love that. And then there's some plant labels in here too. A free gift. I will definitely use those. I always run out of plant labels. <laughs> always. So let's uh, let's plug this in and uh, see what we're looking at. And uh, I, I'm so excited to use this. I'm so excited to uh, to uh, upgrade my my LEDs. I want my plants to grow much better over the winter time when they come in. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see what this looks like as it's running. Okay. So I've hung it up. Uh, I didn't want to go down too far, uh, uh, too far an angle right away, uh, just so you can see what it looks like. It's hanging from the ceiling. I, I wouldn't hang it like this normally. I would, uh, I would hang it a little bit better. But for the purpose of this video, that's how it's going to be hung. Uh, I can raise and lower the um, the light with these. Uh, this is my light meter that I'm going to be using. Uh, the uh, the light with with these ratchets and uh, with the ratcheting uh, cables. So yeah, very, very good. I love that it came with that. And this is super bright. This is, this is the uh, Spider Farmer's light. And then this is the other cheaper one, uh, which I, I kind of like the colors, but it doesn't show off the, the, the plant very well. I, again, you need to wear the sunglasses. Uh, this one is significantly brighter. I've got a string from the light coming in the way. So let's, let's judge the... Um, the foot candles of the light uh, from this this app here. So from here, it's about uh, five thousand, uh, about six thousand foot candles from about uh, one foot away. I'm using the uh, House Plant Journal's uh, 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 light meter. If you want to download it, and then the same thing from this one. It's only uh, 130 foot candles from about 12 inches away. So it's a significant uh, amount of light difference uh, between the two products. Again, I can't wait to see what this one's going to do as, it, uh, as, as I use it actually on plants. It's very warm. When I come next to it, it actually gives off a lot of heat. Um, off to the side, I'm doing, we're going to do renovations to the grow space. So most things are outside anyway but uh, we're gonna put walls up in here. So that's what the, the growth space is looking like right now. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for more on this Spider Farmer uh, grow light. I really wanna see how it grows. And uh, if you're interested in, in maybe purchasing one, uh, check the description down below and uh, I'll have the links to the Amazon account. Uh, and uh, feel free to check it out. If you wanna purchase it, go ahead. Um, but it'd be fun to try. I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to try this one out. Anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing.